Sure, no problem. Okay, we'll get started. Good morning, everybody, and you're very welcome to IrisCon, the Irish Cybercrime Conference 2019 edition. Many of you might not know this, but it was 10 years ago to the week that the very first IrisCon was held in what's now a set of apartment blocks, but was a hotel just around the corner from here. A much, much smaller room, which gives a sense really of how the conference has grown over the past 10 years. It's really become a fixture in the Irish information security scene over the past 10 years. And we've seen a huge amount of change in that time. I mean, one thing that's been striking um, coming to, to the conferences, uh, as I have done every year, is how much security has become so much more of a mainstream subject. Back in 2009, it was quite a, a niche area, but now data breaches and major attacks are front page news. You know, I was doing well at the time working as a journalist to get a story buried in the business page is about a, uh, a security breach. So things have definitely moved on since then. Security is so much more part of the conversation than it used to be. Uh, now we see, for example, the World Economic Forum rates cyber attacks as one of its top five global risks. Now, of course, there's the downside of that as well. You, you get an awful lot of uh, people into the industry. I see Donald Trump's lawyer and conciliary, Rudy Giuliani, is actually passing himself off as a cyber czar. He, he's uh, getting speaking engagements doing that, which is, is pretty staggering. But it reminds me of the football chant you'll hear at a terrace sometimes against the worst player on the pitch. If Rudy can talk cyber, so can I. But the, the one thing is, you can't say that certainly about any of the speakers that we've got lined up for you today. It's an absolutely superb lineup. I was looking at my speaking notes from last year, in fact, and I said at the time and meant it that it was the best lineup yet for IrisCon. And as the announcements started coming in about speakers throughout the course of the summer and the autumn, I just had to go back over and say, look, I'm just going to have to reuse that line. It truly is a fantastic lineup. Speaking of reuse, another big hot button subject is sustainability. I'll be making my own small contribution to that. My speaking notes will contain 54% recycled material. <laughs> By the way, for anybody who doesn't know me, my name is Gordon Smith. I used to be a technology journalist, but I'm better now. It's my great honor and privilege to welcome all of the speakers and all of you here today. We have, as I'd mentioned, such a distinguished and diverse group of guests here today, a mix of Irish and international speakers, some of whom we're welcoming back, some of whom you won't have seen before, and in fact are making their IrisCon debuts. So we're delighted to have them. One thing I've noticed again, ever since 2009, it was there when I was thinking back to the very first conference, how sharing information has really been a constant running theme from IrisCon since the very, very beginning. It's, it's been there ever since, so the speakers that you're going to hear from today are going to share their knowledge, their perspective, their expertise. One great thing, speaking as a, as a kind of outsider, I mean, I've been emceeing this gig for quite a few years now, but I still think of myself as, as such, and you get no sales pitches, no vendor hype, no fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's just information security professionals sharing best practice, sharing their knowledge, helping to improve the community and the organizations that we work for. And I think that's, that's a really laudable goal and a fantastic thing to be doing. Now, just to give you a quick flavor of what's on the menu for today, uh, a quick taster, if you like, you're going to hear about patching, red and blue teams, cybersecurity trends, reports, skills, a little bit about the dark side of the internet, social engineering, the human factor in security, and a scientist is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to cooking crab. Oh, well, that's what it says here anyway. So I suppose to paraphrase the late, great Gay Byrne, there's something for everyone in the audience. Now, as well as the fantastic presentations you're going to hear today, we've also got the annual Capture the Flag event, which is running next door uh, in association with uh, iResearch and IBM. Teams will be competing against each other for, for points. We'll be announcing the winner later on today. I definitely encourage you to go and check that out. That's, that's well worth looking at. And particularly from the standpoint of seeing all of the possible ways that an intruder or attacker could get into your systems. So th there's plenty of learning to be had there too. And now a uh, word as well about our sponsors. It's thanks to them that an event like this can take place. I really would encourage you during the coffee breaks and during the lunch break, do go and visit their stands, chat to them. Their support is hugely valued, so they would really appreciate your support in return. Um, at the risk of no favoritism, I'll just name them in alphabetical order. They are BH Consulting, Comsec, Integrity 360, Oracle, Palo Alto Networks, and Salesforce. 
Quick shout out though to two of the longest running sponsors, BH Consulting's been there since day one and this marks the 10th year of Integrity 360's support and Iris Khan is very grateful to them for that. So uh, Jen is at the back, so Jen if you stand up so people can see, know who you are and for Integrity 360 can visit you. Now the other Jen, Jenny, you're Jenny. Jen. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get your chance. Now, just a quick bit of housekeeping. Um, do please, out of respect for all the speakers, turn your phones to silent. No need to turn them off. If you want to capture the talks in any way, you're welcome to do so. You can also follow the conference on the hashtag IRISCON. That's I-R-I-S-S-C-O-N. We also have, as, as we have had over the past couple of years, we've got Cooper here recording uh, most of the presentations, and they'll be made available in due course on the Iris Search YouTube channel. So I would encourage you to check those out because... As I've said, you're going to come away with an awful lot of fantastic material to bring back to your organizations and just to, to maybe reshape the way you think about your work. So with that, I'll open the conference formally by introducing our first speaker. He too has been a fixture of the event since those early days back in 2009. Um, he it been, become kind of a tradition, I guess. He will open the conference by looking back at the past year, seeing some of the security trends that there have been in Ireland in particular, very much with the, the uh, Irish search perspective. Um, he's a highly regarded information security uh, consultant. He's been a special advisor to Europol, and in 2016, he was inducted into the Info Security Europol of Fame. Would you please welcome Brian Honan?